what was hard to get over was being blamed for something that not only I didn't do, but that happened to me. Meghan Markle is setting the record straight, telling Oprah the real story behind the infamous tabloid tale that she made her sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, cry in 2018. The reverse happened. Meghan says during the preparation of her wedding to Prince Harry, there was a confrontation between she and Kate over flower girl dresses. It made me cry and it really hurt my feelings. And I thought in the context of everything else that was going on in those days leading to the wedding, that it didn't make sense to not be just doing whatever what everyone else was doing, which was trying to be supportive, knowing what was going on with my dad and whatnot. Megan went on to clarify that she didn't tell the story to disparage Kate, but to make a point that she didn't feel protected by the royal institution. It was a really hard week of the wedding and she was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized and she brought me flowers and a note apologizing. What was hard to get over was being blamed for something that not only I didn't do, but that happened to me and, and the people who were part of our wedding going to our comms team and saying, I know this didn't happen. The Duchess of Sussex also revealed that she was always told to stay silent, a similar sentiment royal expert Katie Nichol shared with ET. Well, there have been reports that Meghan wasn't allowed to do this interview two years ago um, when she was certainly being courted by many high profile members of the media, reports that Gail King wanted to do a sit down and Meghan was told she wasn't allowed to do that. I think we're going to hear much more from Meghan in the Oprah interview about losing her voice and how she felt she lost her voice when she was a member of the royal family. Don't forget, she was forced to close her Instagram account. Um, certainly there was no shortage of people wanting an interview, um, but out of the palace, it was a clear no. Megan also told Oprah that she doesn't have any negative feelings towards Kate. I think it's really important for people to understand the truth. I, I would hope that she would have wanted that corrected and maybe in the same way that the palace wouldn't let anybody else yeah. negate it, they wouldn't let her because she's a good person. And I think so much of what I have seen play out is this idea of polarity, where if you love me, you don't have to hate her. And if you love her, you don't need to hate me.